This episode of the Accounting Insiders Podcast is brought to you in part by Zero. Zero is a powerful cloud accounting software that improves efficiencies across your practice. With all client data stored on a single unified ledger, you and your clients can easily access and collaborate on the same set of books. Zero's advisor tools and automation solutions reduce time-consuming manual tasks and put data entry on autopilot. Work faster and more efficiently than ever before with Zero. Visit zero.com slash accounting insiders to learn more. So, hi, Gary Dehart with Insightful Accountant. I am on the show floor of Scaling New Heights 2023 in St. Louis, Missouri, talking with Nathan Rogerson of Zoho. Nathan, thanks. Thanks, Take Gary. Appreciate you having me. Yeah. And is it Zoho or is it Zoho Inc.? How do you guys refer to Zoho? We I, we call it Zoho, but it's Zoho Corporation, I think, okay. is what I have to fill out for Insightful. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so. It says corporation yeah. in there. So we just call it Zoho because we're a Zoho yeah, yeah. user and we do love the tool. It's unbelievable what all the tool does mm-hmm. have to offer. I mean, I, you can't even, you really can't talk about it because it has so much. Right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Not yeah. in this setting, it, not, in, not enough time. So since we're at Scaling New Heights, which mm-hmm. is a an accounting focused event, an mm-hmm. accountant focused event, tell me just a little bit about, so why are you here? Mm-hmm. And uh, so kind of what we want to cover is, you know, who are you? What do you do? Why are you here? And and what do the accountants get out of yeah. out of working with Zoho? And when I say get out of it, I don't necessarily mean what's their paycheck. I mean yeah. what's their win? The value. Yeah. yeah. And so yeah. Uh, so what do you what do you do for Zoho? Yeah, so for at Zoho, my role here is partner development manager. Okay. And specifically, I represent the finance products at Zoho. So that's ranging we have 50 plus applications, but our finance set is six applications. Our accounting tool, which is a true GL accounting tool. We have expense management, inventory, and subscription and more e-commerce type solutions. And my job here is really just to represent Zoho in that fashion and get accountants to understand who we are as an organization that we are here to offer either a la carte or an operating type solution for accountants. And as far as the value of it, um, we, we'll get into that a little bit later, but really the value here is so that accounts can go beyond the general ledger, essentially. Yeah, and and we say accountants can go beyond. Is that to go to be go beyond within their own firm or for yeah, yeah. their clients or? Yeah. So what's hard whenever you're working for an, a software company uh, where we offer solutions to small businesses, accountants are small businesses as well. Yeah. So yes, accounts can pr- go with our product, but really, ideally, our job is to partner with accounts so that they are the true advisor for their clients and they have products that they can find a solution for their clients ranging from an accounting platform to an analytics tool to CRM even kind of what you were mentioning how many products you use on the Zoho ecosystem. Yeah. I mean so we use Zoho CRM, we mm-hmm. use Zoho Social, yeah. we use uh, Survey, yeah. Forms, mm-hmm. uh, Val keeps telling me I need to use Expense but we haven't done that yet. Yeah, Expense. Yeah. Um, we use uh, Zoho campaigns lightly. Um, I've dabbled a little bit in analytics, mm-hmm. but I, I just couldn't. Yeah, yeah, no. One of those things takes a little bit more time than yeah. I was willing to put into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So, but it's super powerful. So, mm-hmm. like for your job, you're not really working for the whole Zoho One suite. You yeah. said it's primarily in the financial. Yeah, we're primarily focused in the finance world, but yeah. at the same time, we just want accounts to grow with us when they're ready. Uh, we don't want them to just start offering all 50 applications at once. We want them to stay in their field, which accounting is their field, right? Yeah. And then once they get comfortable over there, then they can start expanding beyond that because we really want our partners to grow, walk before they run kind of thing. And so talk about that process of the walking before they run. So let's say I'm an accountant. Mm-hmm. I meet you here. I'm like, wait, wait, you got yeah, a great yeah. booth. I'm in. I'm sold. Yeah. What does that really mean as the accountant? What, what would I be sold on? In, yeah, your, so, in your world. Yeah, so what really what you're sold on, obviously there's a lot of competing applications out there. There's a lot of great tools as well, competing directly with us um, from accounting to our CRM and so on. What people are really getting sold on whenever they're talking to us is the value we offer to your clients. And yeah. we're really here to not take clients away from other softwares. We're really here to help you grow your network and your value as a, an accountant to go like I said, beyond the general ledger. I hate keep using that tagline, but really that's our job is yes, we have an accounting platform. You have a new client that wants a new accounting GL tool. We have that solution, but you might have someone who's looking for expense management because they have a lot of people who travel. 
We might have someone who wants a more analytical dashboard. We have partners who all they do is just create cash flow dashboards for their yeah. clients. Okay. And that's just a value added service that they really offer. And is that, do you have a tool that specific to that, like the cash flow? Well, dashboard, they, or that's just a lot of things like Zoho has to offer is out of the box, we have applications, but there's a lot of customization, even within our accounting tool, there's workflow rules. You can do custom buttons in there as well. And we have advanced analytics is what we call it. And really it's a sandbox. There are some pre-made dashboards that are created and reports and you can plug and play. And you can actually ask our AI to develop okay. reports for you. But uh, for accounts specifically, because this is your world and you're already helping clients out on the day-to-day -day basis, you probably know your client's KPIs and you probably know a better dashboard for that particular client. Okay. Yeah, and I've been uh, I've been playing around a little bit. It's Zia, right? Is the yeah Zia is our AI. Yeah. I've been playing around with that a little bit, and the, the just the power of that type of tool. Yeah, yeah, AI, and, and we also can really figure out how to harness it with GPT and all that. We're right. starting to integrate GPT AI and having these contextual chats. Yeah. I believe is what we're calling it, but. Okay where you can ask it a question and it'll produce a report for you right on the fly. Yeah, it's super powerful. Yeah. All right, so I'm an accountant. I come up to the mm -hmm. Zoho booth again. And what in your in uh, your experience, what has what's the biggest challenge? Mm -hmm. And what's the uh, easiest challenge to overcome? Yeah. So there's probably more than one challenge, but what is it that what is it that that you've got to break through mm -hmm. with the accountant? to help them kind of yeah, yeah, see yeah. Where, where you're going with this. Yeah, so the biggest challenge with accounts is accounts are busy. Um, we are here to help them grow their practice and help them automate to the best of their ability through Zoho. Um, obviously, the elephant in the room is the other applications that we compete directly with. Right. How do we get those customers on board with Zoho? That's not really my job, is not to steal customers away. My job is to help you grow and have value through Zoho for your customers. Yep and your uh, clients, I guess. And um, really what I've seen is once they kind of understand that hurdle of, hey, we're not here to compete in that way, we're here to just be an alternative and also be able to offer more value for your customers in other ways. It's not a good fit for everybody. We only want, your cus um, we only want you to work with the clients that you think we're a good fit with and that you're recommending products that you think they would find value in. Right. Yeah. And then uh, what about onboarding? What does that look, look like? Yeah, as far as the, the customer side, the it's very transparent pricing. You can go online, SaaS-based business, go online. You can speak to a um, sales ex executive or account manager. Mm -hmm. um, on the partner side, we try to um, have communication with our partners at every step. And whenever they're getting onboarded, they um set up a call with us so we can walk them through our program through our applications yeah. because the last thing we want from a partner is for them to um get onto our tools and not really know the right direction to go in mm -hmm. and we want them to know the right direction and um guide them through that process so that whenever they're dealing with their customers they're comfortable with our product we've had it in the past to where people were just onboarded without too much direction Okay. And I saw that that wasn't the right way to go. So we decided to give them as much direction as possible so that they're comfortable. And if they're comfortable, then their client will be comfortable. Right. Because it can be overwhelming. Yeah, right? yeah, it can I mean, be. Yeah. You, yeah, hey, I'm going to bring these four software solutions on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that takes time. Yeah. It takes resources. Mm -hmm. And so having a roadmap. Yeah, roadmap. It's got to be super helpful. Yeah. And what about, again, maybe just staying in your world, in the finance world, the um, is there is there one that you start with and then you move migrate through the others after okay I'm comfortable here mm -hmm. now I'm going to go to number two number three yeah what does that typically look like yeah so depending on what accountant we're speaking to there's some accounts who specialize in inventory there's some that specialize in um, you know full operating softwares like ERPs in that sense but typically it starts out in the Zoho Books world. And then it evolves into analytics in a lot of times in a lot of ways because accountants are offering more CFO style value right. uh, services and analytics, building those advanced analytics for your clients has been a place 
that our, our partners have seen a lot of value in. Okay. Yeah. And so the ideal contact for you mm -hmm. um, coming out of a show like this, yeah. what, is, what does that person look like or that firm? Yeah, just really just uh, ready to grow their practice. Sure. Um, obviously, like I mentioned, we do have a la carte options. So there are ways that we are a value service. So our, our product is very cost effective or affordable. Yep. And um, really the, the, the big thing for us is that we're looking for accountants who are just ready to grow their practice beyond the general ledger is really right. where we go. Yeah. But also at the same time, we offer the a la carte as well. Yeah. And, it, and it is, as, as we said earlier, it's a super powerful tool. Mm -hmm. I mean, it has, yeah. I think you said 50 apps yeah, now, yeah, right? Yeah. And it seems to grow almost mm -hmm. every day. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like every day there's like a new yeah. app. Mm -hmm. And all of them, again, that we've used have been effective, yeah. great tools for our mm -hmm. business. And we've not even scratch the surface on the automation side. Yeah, yeah. Of what yeah. you've done yeah. with with the suite. Yeah. The out of the box Zoho books and our um, applications out of the box, very easy to navigate and get used to. Um, that we operate from everybody from the small business to mid market space. So you can uh, just go and purchase our basic uh, Zoho Books platform. It is very easy and simple to use. But once you start going up, you have the capability to grow your practice from a small business all the way to mid-market to potentially even enterprise if you're a uh, service type style right. business. And then, and then if there's a whole ecosystem of, of value-added resellers, mm -hmm. right, who can mm -hmm. support, let's yeah. say if a, a firm gets into a project that's mm -hmm. just too big, right, mm -hmm. or out of their wheelhouse, mm -hmm. you've got a, a, a host of people that could be brought in to assist. Is that right? Within the Zoho world? Yeah, zone employees, world, kind of, or or the value added resellers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them. So, what we've seen is our partners. We have a pretty robust e um, ecosystem of partners to where they communicate and collaborate. Uh, we have partners who stay in just the books world, and all they do is just migrate people over to Zoho Books. Okay. And then we have partners who dedicate their time to the CRM space, and that collaboration is key, really, because our big vision is it's hard to be an expert in every tool unless you have a, a good sized firm. Right. Um, we partner spe specifically, the best ones for us are the ones who specialize in a certain area. Right. And yes, they can offer value added services, but it's one of those things where it, you need to grow with those services as well, your company does. Okay. So does, uh, do, do you do, or does uh, we were talking before, um, you travel a pretty good bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, do you guys, does Zoho have any ongoing it's like, I don't want to call them promotional webinars, but mm -hmm. informational webinars mm -hmm. or uh, educational webinars that yeah, yeah. you do on yeah. a regular basis. So, yes, we have every single application has their own landing page where you can go to and see webinars that are coming up and trainings that are coming up yeah. as well. Uh, we have one on one trainings that people can sign up for. As far as webinars, I'm a part of. Um, Yes, we're growing that. We used to do a lot more during COVID because that was right. just the so bread and butter during that right. time. But uh, now it's it's um, we're starting to do quarterly trainings for all accountants okay. and partners alike. So it could be not a partner yet or you're an existing partner and we do application trainings and we're, tr we're putting that together currently. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Make sure we know about that. And so yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anything, how do people find you or Zoho? What's the best uh, best path? Yeah, best path is go to zoho.com slash CPA, or you can connect with me on LinkedIn. I'm pretty good about my messages on LinkedIn, okay. except for I, I'm good at my messages, but I found one from like 2021, uh, whenever I was just going through it. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> It was just like a not notification that it was one, and I went all the way back, and it was 2021. Oh, Sorry, yeah. mom. I, yeah, just, yeah, I didn't yeah. reply. Like a link to, yeah, shoot, my mom's <laughs> messaged me on LinkedIn, yeah. All right, anything else? No, no, Gary, yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. Right, all right, well, we certainly appreciate yeah. it. Good yeah. talking to you. Appreciate it, man. Talk soon.